So uh, October 21st, 2019, we're going to break down the GRSC uh, Superman video. Uh, I'll put a card at the end of the video in case you haven't seen the video, but most people have seen the video. Uh, people are requesting me to break down videos now. I'm getting a couple of requests, so I'm, you know, I'm going to start responding to the request. The request, if you have a request for a video that you want to want me to break down, you should leave those requests in the comment section of this video. So let's break this thing down. So his wife worked at one of the parking garages downtown. And either the day before, sometime the week before, I was, uh, you know, getting off work. I was in the, I was in the car. I was, leaving, I was trying to exit the building. She was talking to her husband. And I told her, you should pay attention to me and not to him. And so uh, this is this this he came over to talk to me about that incident, where I told his wife, "You should pay attention to me, not to him, while she's on the job." Now I said this in the comment sections. Apparently, people don't like to read the comment sections, but uh, uh, there's a lot of comments also saying, "Why did you put your hands on him?" Uh, you know, saying some disparaging things about him that I don't know. I guess if you're just watching the video or unjust, you know, justifiable, but eh, probably not. Um, so I guess let's let's just let's let's just get to it. So, you know, he came over, and you could see, you know, like, okay, I know why this guy came over, right? Because of what I said to his wife. So, you know, I'm trying to kill the whole situation. Okay, man, I apologize. Yada yada yada. He don't want to hear it. He want to show out. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, but, you know, when I talked to his wife, like at, at the end of this day, she said that I didn't disrespect her because I didn't disrespect her. Uh, I, th I think that he felt like he was disrespected. Like you did disrespected me in front of my wife and you talked to my wife that way in front of me. I don't know. I think I think I think it had something to do with his manhood. I think it had something, to, you know, him feeling disrespected. But, but he said, you know, you don't talk to my wife like that, you know, so I don't know. You know, I, I guess you take him at his word. I, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, my opinion is that, that he felt disrespected. In any event, why wouldn't I put my hands on him like, oh, he, he the dude, you always touching these people, but you won't touch these people, you know, like, yeah, shut up, right? Because I don't want to hear that nonsense. Listen, I knew this dude. I had talked to this dude on several 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 occasions uh and dude always was cool we never had a problem dude was always cool hey man what's going on what's going on now you know to me he was a little inebriated a little drunk being a whole lot being a whole lot extra uh but did you need to take it there did you need to ratchet it up uh no you didn't i knew the guy he was upset okay he's upset i get you you upset all right you upset about what i said to your wife okay i get it all right. You know, I apologized several times. He didn't want to hear it. He was going off. You know, I didn't want to hear that after a while. And, you know, you can watch the video and just see, you know, kind of what happened. But you really don't understand the, the pre, you know, the incident that, that sparked that sparked this incident. Now, as far as people saying, you know, he's a bum. Listen, you know, my understanding of this dude uh, is that he was employed. I don't know if he was employed with the city. I don't know if he was employed downtown, this, that, or the other. But my understanding is that he was employed. Now, I understand that I typically would get off about 6, 6.30 uh, or 7, 7.30, somewhere around there, right? Um, that's plenty enough time for someone to go to work and get off. Now, you know, I understand what he said. All they got to do is listen to Snoop Dogg and drink gin and juice or whatever the hell that he was talking about. Uh, but, it, you know, that's not really, not, not the case. You know, the guy was just upset. You know, and, and I kind of understood. Uh, and then he got drunk and or tipsy or whatever the hell it is that he was. And, you know, he just, you know, he just felt he was upset. And as they say in the hood, he felt some kind of way about it. He, it, it, he didn't feel good about it. And so, you know, he just wanted to let me know his feelings. And, you know, and I understood his feelings. 
I heard him, and then all the rest of that stuff he was talking was extra. And you know, even after that, even after that, man, you know, I, you know, I walked into the uh, the parking garage, and he was he was just a cool dude. He was still a cool dude. You know, none of this extra stuff that he came into the mall and did. He was he was the dude that he had always been before. So I even told him that I wouldn't put it up. He, he told me he didn't care if I put it up. But I told him I, I wouldn't put it up because you don't want nobody to see this. That's why it took years to put it up. You know, well, he don't care. He said he didn't care. So hey, I'm gonna put it up because this stuff is real extra. It's really crazy. And then people always trying to paint me as is is in 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 one certain light. And it's, it's, it's really undeserved by me. Uh, you know, I deal with, 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 with certain people certain ways. I deal with a type of person in a certain way after they show me that, you know, that they, they get down like this, that they move like this after watching them and observing them. Um, so, you know, some of the criticism cast upon me is undeserved. Some of the criticism cast upon him is undeserved. And, and I'll keep telling people once again, you know, I know people call me the kick-ass mall cop. And, you know, I tell people, you know, you can look up kick-ass mall cop on the Internet. But, you know, be careful how you promote yourself. I'm not the kick-ass mall cop. Anybody down there would tell you that. Anybody who was down there would tell you that. Uh, you know, I just did a job. That's all I did. Just did a job. Nothing kick-ass about it. Nothing kick-ass about me. I'm the softest guy in the room. I'm the weakest guy in the room. I'm just the guy in the room with the highest level of commitment. There it is. Nothing else needs to be said. Okay. So we're done with the breakdown of uh, uh, the Superman breakdown. Uh, I'll leave a card at the end of the video if you haven't seen the video. And then you can uh, watch the video and get a slightly better understanding. That's it. Deuces.